Hello, welcome to your reading for Thursday the 9th of August 2018. My name's Sonia. Um, I'm going to be doing daily readings just to give everybody a sense of the energy that's around on that particular day. Um, I do do my normal monthly readings but I thought this would be a top up for everyone. So I'm using two decks as I do in my normal readings. A uh, deck for the energy for the day and the deck that I'm using this week is the Dark Goddess Oracle Cards and they're by Barbara Michael John Free and Flavia Kate Peters. These are stunning cards. The energy is awesome and very powerful. I also have a brand new tarot deck, which is the thing that's inspired me to do the daily reads again, which is the Celtic Tarot. And they're by Christopher Hughes. Again, the energy within the deck is amazing, as you'll see when we do the cards. Okay, so I've pulled a card for the overall energy, and the card that I've pulled is Resurrection, Isis. It's a beautiful card. So what does this give us for the overall energy for the day? I feel that many of you may have been sacrificing your own help, happiness and um, sacrificing your own life for the sake of others. Haven't you given your power to someone else? So some of you may have given years of dedication to someone or something for the sake of your principles. and putting others' needs before your own. It's time to step, to step back from this and to live out your own dreams. It's self-sacrificing who you're here, why you're here, who you're meant to be. You know, you need to put number one first. You need to put yourself first. Helping others with a loving heart, that's fine. That's a good thing. Never have any resentment. Never do it because you feel you ought to do it. This is about making a commitment to yourself. Maybe writing down all those things that you want. And writing down the steps that you need to take to achieve those goals. Thursday is all about seizing the day. It's a beautiful card. Okay. So let's see what other energies around for us for Thursday. What guidance can the tarot give? As I shuffle the cards, I'm always asking, what is it that we need to know? What do you need to know right now? Oh, and as I shuffle, we have a card that's come out, which is the Seven of Swords. If we look at the picture, he has several swords in his hands. We have some standing in the ground, in the background. For me, the Seven of Swords is just a, 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 like a little nudge, a little reminder to just be aware of somebody else's actions. For me personally, it's the card of deceit. But it's also someone who doesn't really care if they've hurt your feelings. They're quite happy to carry on doing their own thing regardless. And it ties in really well with the Resurrection card. So I feel for lots of you on Thursday, it's kind of a bit of an awareness of what it is you're actually doing with regards to relationships and people around you and how much of yourself you're giving away. Okay, so the next card to come out Again, is perfect 
to go inside the resurrection card because it's number one, the magician. The magician has all the tools on the table. He is magic. He is believing that magic can happen. That magic is inside you. Trusting that that ma magic is inside you and seizing the day as well. So this is all about you making it happen. Writing down those goals, writing down those dreams and actually putting your plans into action, not just writing down, oh, I was going to do this or I might do that. It's actually, what can I do to make this happen? Believe in yourself. Start saying no to others and start believing in you. Okay, as always, we'll have three cards from the tarot. And the last one we have is reversed. And it's the Nine of Pentacles. The Nines have always like they're coming to the end of a situation. This is financial security. This is um, materialistically being very well off. But actually, it's almost as though... She's not content in other areas. There is somebody in the background with the hood over the head. The tree is bare. So although the abundance is there, she's surrounded by gold, there's something that's, n that's missing. She's very independent, she's very wise. It's almost as though the whole journey's happened and she's at the brink of starting something new so although there's been someone there's been some kind of deception around you you're in a good place to who you are and yes you may need to you may have forsaken your own happiness for the sake of others but actually you know, you've got the, the benefits of that because in your heart you know what you've wanted and what you've trusted to happen. Believe in yourself. So Thursday is all about believing in you, seizing that day, seizing that day to say no to others. If it's not something that comes from your heart that you really believe in and truly want to do, seize the day if there's something that you really want to do make that day be tomorrow when I've added up the numbers for the ninth let me just have a look 9 18 36 yep it's all about trusting your own inner power your own inner self knowing that magic does happen and can happen knowing that you are number one and putting yourself first so i hope you all have a beautiful day put yourself first say no to somebody close but most of all seize the day <laughs>